Hey everyone, welcome back to Becoming Remarkable with Dr. Johnny and myself, Dr. Emily. This week, I wanna talk about something that we have talked about a little bit before, and the word is choices. I know you're having a remarkable first quarter of the year, and if you think about it, one fourth of our year of 2019 is gone. So as you reflect back over that, ask yourself, what decisions and choices did I make that have impacted me this first quarter and in impacting me in all of 2019 and maybe even beyond. Maybe you made a decision to move or to switch a, an occupation or job. Maybe you, um, my teenage daughter is making a college decisions right now. Maybe you made it a college decision. It could be anything. We adopted a new pet or I just spoke with someone over the weekend who just recently uh, um, picked up a new baby to foster uh, for a short period of time. That impacts the entire family, even though that that's not a permanent change in their household, but it definitely is for a short period of time. Those are all choices, and I would say that a lot of those are big choices. We make small choices every day, like what time are we gonna wake up and get out of the bed? What are we gonna wear today? Am I gonna brush my teeth or not? What am I gonna eat for lunch? Should I have that cookie or not? Those are all maybe, you might call them smaller choices. If you think about it, you are the sum of all the choices you have ever made. What kind of education did you have? Where do you live? Who did you marry? Or who are you dating now? What did I, if I cut my hair short or I kept my hair long? All of these things are choices that we make and all of them can affect us in a small way or in a very large way but well, we are the sum of all of them. So I want to challenge you this week and beyond to ask yourself, what choices am I making? Are there choices in my life that I need to change and not move forward with? Are there choices in my life that I have been procrastinating and not doing and I really should be doing and making choices in that area to be a better person, be more remarkable, to be intentional? Are there choices in my life that I cannot change and I have to accept where they are because of uh, previous choices that I've made and I'm going to choose joy and to grow right where I'm at. Ask yourself those kinds of questions and daily think about what choices am I making. I went to the grocery store earlier today and they happened to have a special on Blue Bell ice cream. Now that sounds crazy. I love ice cream and I love cookies and cream Blue Bell ice cream, it's my utmost favorite. And I picked up a gallon of the Blue Bell cookies and cream and I'm really the only one in my home that likes Blue Bell's cookies and cream. And I know me, I would have eventually be holding that gallon in my arm and just eating straight out of it. I turned around and I put it back in the cooler because I thought, this is a choice I really do wanna make but I'm not going to because long-term is not gonna be beneficial for me. Okay, this week, Challenges on what choices are you going to make that's going to best serve you and those you love. Have a very blessed one this week. Bye, guys.